Today we're at the Anaheim, our permanent Anaheim air monitoring station. This is one of 35 stations that we operate to measure uh, air quality in Southern California. And basically, you pull air through the instrument uh, uh, with a pump, and as it's pulled into the instrument, it passes through a filter. The air goes through the filter, but the particles in the air stick on the filter. So every hour, there's a sensor right here that, on top there, and that sensor will measure the radioactivity of the particles that were collected on the filter and send that data in real time back to US EPA. It's all being pulled in through this round hole you see here, and covering the hole uh, is a filter, and that filter will filter out all the particulate in the air. What you see there is it's already getting a little bit dark, and that's just regular air pollution. What we get out of here is a very raw, rough number, just basic uh, counts uh, to convert that to things such as sieverts and REMS and doses and exposures and health effects is a, is a complicated calculation and process. We're not the experts in radiation, dose, and exposure. We leave that to EPA and the public health experts. Uh, but we can look and see what these raw counts are, and at least on a relative basis, we can tell whether things have gone up or down and compare them to the historical levels. This device is very sensitive, and uh, it'll, it'll register levels of radioactivity even uh, at levels that we wouldn't consider dangerous to human health at all. At th this point, there's no evidence that we have any increased radiation exposure. That may change, but the best guesses at this point are that by the time the radioactive material, if it gets here, when it gets here, it'll be so dilute uh, and so dispersed that it won't be at a level that's going to impact human health. And as soon as we see something, we're going to be working with all our partners and the public to give all the information out.